I was I was thinking about this earlier, about how like this whole thing with Nair, it's like if you're consistently inconsistent, does that now make you consistent? Or does that make you consistent at not like what is, what is inconsistency? Is that entropy? Or is it unpredictability? What if you can predict that, like... No, no, no. Th yeah, inconsistency is, is independent of, like, whatever action, whether it be flaking or whatever, is going on. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's consistent. It's consistent. But... Let me mute this. Okay. So this is... This is a clip I took way, way long ago. Like, over a year ago. I just wanted to play it. This is a meeting that we had. This is, like, in this old room. Don't even live here anymore. But, um... Oops. So apparently this is some rapper, okay? And he's in a meeting and he's talking to some rich folk and um, they wanted me in on this meeting. I wasn't even, I was like super far away from them. I'm like, bro, fine, I'll listen in. I'm tired of these meetings. I don't like, I don't have anything to do with them. Um, I, I don't want to work with these kinds of people, but okay, fine. I'll, I'll listen in on this meeting. Okay, it's really hard to hear this, but hold on, let me skip through. Visioning so much. I tried to create something now. So the head of marketing, the head coach, and all those people there, they had media You know what I'm saying? So they really, really have to put it out. It's like I'm finding music going on online because they turn them into a monster. Okay, that's a timeline for me. I've talked to many people who have been successful. What, a year and a half, two years? You never hear a song anywhere. How much content you put out when you were uh, doing all the things? We were putting out, we were putting out, we were putting out content, but we weren't. How do I explain that? I don't know what he's trying to do. He's trying to like be a rapper, but it's like they always, when you ask the real questions, how much content are you putting out? They always have a such a complicated answer to give. It's always like. Oh, I'm gonna have to explain to you some sort of justification because the fact that I'm insecure and I don't like putting out content. I'm just letting the time pass because this is like a waste of time for me. It was back then, it's always been, and it still is now. Yes, it wasn't. Party the song. Maybe partying and music. It wasn't any like partying and music. See, that's the problem with these rappers. That's the problem with these guys. It's like, they think that, like, they all they really want, they don't care about music. 
All they really want is to party all day and for that to be work for them. If they can party all day and make money from that and consider that their career, then that's their ideal lives. So they think being a rapper is a shortcut, easy, easy method to getting there. Um, and they're, they're just really stupid people. We figured out the music didn't matter. The person, they fall in love with the person. And then the music can sound however. No, the music cannot sound however. Whatever, man. It's stupid. Of course he's not going anywhere. They don't care. They, they, once they know the person, it doesn't matter. So all of this stuff we did, we, we should have took it back and did all here. And had me looking like this person that other people want. Like I say, in order to be an artist, you have to be some... Uh, by the ladies want and a man wants to be. So if I don't want to be you or act like you or nothing, then music just has to bow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you have to create a person that everyone wants to be. This guy is so pretentious. Like he doesn't deserve to make it in the music industry. Maybe he will, but if he does, he doesn't deserve it. He shouldn't. Yeah. Question. I have a question. Yeah. Who all is in the room right now? Yeah. Who who's everyone that's in who's everyone that's in the room right now? So me, Farhan, Matthew, Zen, and Isha. Okay, so um Zen and Matthew, I don't really know how I can like bring value to you. I don't know how exactly I can like, so I'm just trying to get out of the call. Like really help you guys. I'm like kind of far away. Um, and the value I bring is, is like pretty similar to like a lot of other people who also know how to operate a camera, which there's plenty of those guys now out there. Um, to, um, for us is there, right? Okay, for us, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can bring value to them, and I'm sure they can bring value to you. But I'll I'll say this: the things that I have personally found to work are just if you truly are passionate about it. Because, like they said just now, the music doesn't matter; it's all marketing. I kind of like fundamentally disagree with that because glad to see that I'm still consistent with it because to me the music is the only thing that matters and everything else is extra because if you truly truly believe that the music is the only thing that matters and I mean actually believe it then you'll be content with just that and every person who I know who actually has followed that strategy which is a very small minority of people because most people get caught up in the money. Most people get caught up in the whole idea of wanting to live vicariously through the people who are on top. And they, instead of wanting to make it big in the music industry to, to become rich and, and, and like how they, they prescribe to the idea of wanting an easy life, even though they, they won't actually say that, even though they'll never admit it to themselves or others, they prescribe to the idea of an easy life. 
And every person, this is the majority of people, every person who I found out, who I found, who didn't take that route, who decided that they truly believe from the bottom of their heart that the fame doesn't matter, ended up becoming famous. That's just from what I found from the people who are coming here, from the people I'm meeting next week. And, and I could tell you more about that later. Um, and then to Ishan, Ishan's there too, right? Yeah. Ishan, I wanted to also say something to you. Remember, remember you told me the other day, um, like when we were with Ruth and Myra, you were like, yeah, the age gap between you and Ruth and Myra is kind of crazy, but it's weird how you communicate with them perfectly. And I thought a bit about that. I realized there's really, for me, it was not weird at all. For me, it was weird how other adults can't communicate with them like easily, how they have a hard time understanding them or kids in general. And I thought about it. There's only two possible answers as to why that's the case. Either one, kids, you know, eight-year-olds are, are not so simple-minded as, as people make them out to be. Or two, adults lose something as they grow up. In general, they lose something that they once had when they were kids or they forget something. And I think it's a combination of both, but I think it's more the latter. I think the former is only 20%. I think the latter is 80%. I think they do lose something as they grow up and they completely forget about it. It escapes their mind. And that, that thing, I thought about this quite a bit. I think it's authenticity. If you're truly authentic, you're... You're, fact, you're, mm -hmm. you're breaking up. Can you get into the place where you... No, we can't. So I'm, I'm uh -huh. kind of busy. Okay. Yeah. So you have the most knowledge out of all of us about social media marketing. So can you tell us like one thing how to stand out on social media? Or how to get recognized by like or reposted by people or like Like these people keep trying to make it, but they don't deserve it. Stop putting effort into helping people who don't deserve to make it. Because it's so much it's so much more difficult. It's an insane challenge. If you're going if you're making a record label and you want to sign artists, sign the ones that deserve to make it. Because at least at least, like, there's, if you if they do make it, you won't feel super guilty about it, about flooding the market with garbage artists who who are receiving something that they're not entitled to, who they didn't work for it, who are getting the recognition of somebody much more talented than them and much more hardworking than them. And at least you won't have to deal with that kind of guilt if you actually support the people who deserve that support rather than these random people who go oh i just want to live that lifestyle you know people want to be me all the girls want me guys want to be me those people stop supporting them stop trying to find marketing strategies for them you don't need marketing strategies for true musicians if they're a true musician they'll make it it's just that simple Everyone wants for no reason. I, I'm not than just wanting And to. I did give some advice about authenticity and how, like, that's, that's what'll do it. Don't skate to where the puck is, skate to where it's going. Look at how things are going on the internet and on TikTok and on YouTube. And everybody wants to be relatable, relatable, relatable. Forget about forcing relatability. Be authentic and you'll automatically be relatable at, to, like, the perfect degree because you're real. And so I gave that advice. I'm making on social media after a week of also correspond to the same percentage of 99% who have made it big off the lottery with me flesh it out like, because I'm not on the same page as I if you don't have a reason to have it you don't you shouldn't have it yeah I was really straight up about so that. that that's why I don't think I can add any value because like I I don't know I don't know what I would like I don't see a, a goal I do see a goal I see them wanting the goal of, uh, I want an easy life. That's my goal. They'll never admit it, but that's their goal. And I'm not going to just say that to their face when they have this meeting with all these people. Um, not to their face. I'm not going to say that on a call and like potentially, I don't mind burning the bridge. Like these guys are stupid. But, you know, a lot of people, including like my own family members, are normies. And they don't want to burn bridges with anyone. So, um, and this guy... This rapper, like my brother knows this guy, DJ Aladdin. This guy earlier in the video, I don't know, somewhere, he was talking about how he's like, oh yeah, all the DJs, you know, they really mess with me. 
Um, they play, I, I get organic growth. They play my music. Uh, I don't even got to ask them and they just play it. It's all organic. It's all organic. No, it's not. He, he literally, this guy, DJ Aladdin, um, he's in Atlanta and he was telling my brother, my brother was asking him, he's like, you know about this guy, this like rapper in Atlanta who wants to make it. And DJ Aladdin's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was DJing at this place and he came up to me and he paid me $500 to play his song. He came correct that day. That's what he said. He said, DJ Aladdin said, he came correct. And he was like really appreciative of the guy. That's not organic growth. That's not what that is. That's the opposite of what that is. If you have to pay people to play your music, that's not organic growth. But... You have no idea how many videos I have like this of calls and meetings with rappers and, and producers and people who are just so stupid lazy and just doing nothing with their lives. And they want an easy life. They want an easier life than they already have. And meanwhile, like, it's so simple to make it in the music industry. You just have to ignore the easy life and go, you know what? I want a harder life. Done. That's the key to unlocking all of this. It's so simple. It's so, it may not be easy, but it's simple at the very least. And I'll make the case later that it is easy. But to these people... Doing the easy thing is is so is such a monumental task. It's just a shame. It's only people with so much potential. So today I wanted to finish the thing, um, finish this entire project, but I'm probably gonna go through tomorrow because he said he's free tomorrow. Uh, he said he's gonna hop on Discord today. Um, I messaged him. Uh, earlier at 9.30 and then I messaged him again at 11 then I messaged him again at 1.40 because he said he was going to be up at 12 and he was going to be free so we would go do stuff and I'd be like okay let's see tomorrow what we're going to do and then he said we can do it on Discord today he said that uh, and then he said it'll be on at 4 like bro it's a Saturday how are you not managing to force yourself to get free time on Saturdays and he's like I'll be on a discord at four um so we can make so we can start making beats you know so we can get something done and uh it's 421 right now and that's why I started streaming because I thought he was gonna hop on um and then he said I bet let's still discord today if something comes up though go do it and let me know, I'm going to be at the crib all day. And I said, yo, you said you're trying to hop on Discord. What time? He already said earlier, I'll hop on Discord at 4. I downloaded FL before going to sleep. You got any beat packs, like plugins? And then I was like, okay, what's the deal, you know? So... I don't know. Like it's just it's just a pain dealing with people who who just don't care about this kind of thing as much as you, you know? I've made videos about this in the past. It's just don't work with people who are nowhere near as motivated as you. You can work with people less motivated than you because you're gonna have to make that compromise because someone's always gonna be more motivated than the other person. But don't make it like ninety percent, ten percent motivation levels. It, in terms of like how much is actually being put into the project that you're trying to do together, you know?